and there's no need now to ask a policeman. Just give me a ring sometime. Germany's plans for rearmament are now limited at sea to 35% of the strength of the British fleet. This naval agreement with the British government has been negotiated by Herr von Ribbentrop, the right-hand one of the seated figures, a very able young businessman who has just been made Herr Hitler's ambassador at large. I know him well and can testify to his thorough acquaintance with the British character and language. I think this arrangement may be considered the first practical step for years in the direction of an armaments limitation and of a general settlement in Europe. It is our sincere wish that other steps may soon follow. During these negotiations, the British Navy has been concentrating in home waters for a review by His Majesty the King. For this purpose, the big ships of the Mediterranean fleet leave Malta and arrive in the Solent to join the home fleet. The naval strength of the British Empire has hitherto been ten times the tonnage of the German naval forces. These were reduced by the Peace Treaty of Versailles to six small battleships of 10,000 tons, six light cruisers and 24 torpedo craft, mainly stationed in the Baltic. Submarines were forbidden to Germany, but the new naval agreement authorizes her to build up to 45% of British strength in underwater craft. German ingenuity produced within the limitations of the Peace Treaty the most formidable vessels for their size afloat. Her pocket battleships, as they were called, combine high speed with much greater fighting power than the 10,000-ton ships of other navies. <laughs> 